Hey, hey everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB with the top tips, tricks, and customizations that you can do for your AirPods. Now, one thing people kind of were bummed about is that there weren't a lot of controls on the AirPods. You can double tap the side, but that's really all the input other than Siri you have, and most things require you to use your iPhone. But there are still a lot of cool tips and tricks here that you can get into that make these more than just your average pair of headphones. First up, when you open the case near your phone, that's how you initially pair your AirPods. But if you do it any other time, it'll show you the battery of both your case and the headphones. And if you remove one of the headphones, it'll actually show you the individual volumes on the left bud and the right bud. That way, if you're only listening to one, you know the actual volume of the one that you are going to be using. If you go into the Bluetooth menu, we also have a bunch of cool other features. We're gonna open the AirPods and make sure they're paired to our phone. Of course, we have our battery indicator because I held up really close to the phone. But now if I hit on that little eye, unlike many other pairs of headphones, I have all these options. To start, I can name the AirPods. So when that little screen pops up, it'll actually use the proper name that I've given them. Also, when you double tap on the AirPods themselves, you can do different things. For instance, you can use Siri or play pause. I leave it on play pause instead of off or Siri because that's what I do most often. If I really need to get Siri, I prefer just to use the Hey Siri feature of my iPhone. Automatic ear detection can also be toggled. That way the music and audio doesn't pause when you remove them from your ears. You can also assign the microphone to the left or the right AirPod. Normally it'll just switch between and that's what it's on by default. But if sometimes one isn't picking it up or it's by a window or something, you don't have to let Apple's kind of algorithms dictate it. You can choose it by hand. Now, if you have an Apple Watch, there's even more cool things you can do. For instance, on the Apple Watch, when you swipe up from the bottom and get to the little control center type feature, you can tap on that battery percentage. If you have the AirPods connected, it'll show you both the left and right earbuds remaining battery life. So that's it. Those are kind of the big features here for the AirPods, and hopefully maybe we'll see more in the future, especially on a second generation AirPod. There's so many different things that we could see. Let us know what you love and don't love about the AirPods down in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up, go ahead and click subscribe, and until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.